Hello, every ghoul, ghost, and goblin. It is me. And today, we have a wonderful, wonderful doll that I have been waiting for so long to have. And, um, I found her at Kmart on an amazing sale. Like, I was almost literally in te tears just because I was like, oh, I finally get to get her. Um, and if you guys watched my toy hunting number three, you will know who I'm talking about. I found Jane Goodlittle. I got her for ten ninety nine, which is normally twenty one ninety nine. Yeah, twenty one ninety nine, right there. And um, I'm just so happy to have her because she's so beautiful. And yay, I'm so excited. Here she is in her box. She's so pretty. See her boots in here. There's her beautiful artwork. Her artwork is gorgeous. And I love how like her background is like red and like blood or like a cave or something. Monster hat. Monster hat. And then this side has the same red design. It says like top of the box. And then here's the back. I'll give you guys a second to read. Pause if you need to. Let's move it up a little bit. And then here's another picture of her amazing artwork. That's super cute. And needles! He's so cute! I think he's my favorite pet. Overall, um, age 15 or 16, monster parents, Dr. Boo Little, killer style. I suppose one could call my style jungle chic. I simply adore fox, false for, fox, first for, f a u x, false, 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 fix, false, fix, fix, fix. I can't say that word. Um, sorry if it sounded like I said a bad word. I'm just trying to actually say it. I, I can't say that word. It's one of those words I can't say. Um, fake fur, animal prints, feathers. I also have an absolute smashing. Also, half. I also have an absolutely smashing walking stick. I can't stand to be without. Freaky fall, spinning my. Formative fears on Jungle Island. With only the companionship of animals, do little to prepare me for the company of other monsters in large groups. When I find myself in this situation, my pulse races, I breathe very fast, and I look for a place to hide. Pet Needles is my pet voodoo sloth. I love him dearly, but he's always getting stuck, so I constantly point must make a point of telling him to be careful. Favorite activity. I love a good trek. There's nothing quite as peaceful and invigorating as exploring the wilderness and meeting the creatures that live in there. Yay! Um, so I'm gonna open her up and we'll see what we can look at with her real fast. Since I've been in the habit of half opening these dolls in front of you. There's a stand. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go open her up and I'll see you guys when I get back. Hello, every cool ghost and goblin, it is me. And today we are here again with Jane the Little, who I'm so happy to have. Um, here is her hairbrush. Which all Monster Hair dolls come with, with the black skillet brush. And then we're gonna look at her pet first, because he's so cute. Cute. Um, his name is Needles. He's a voodoo sloth, so you can see he has stitches. He's so cute. 
And, and he can hold around her waist and her shoulders like a, uh, like a book bag. And then he has his opening in his back where you can put stuff in. It's very hard to open, but I guess if you're a little kid and you got little fingers, I guess you could. Um, but he's really squishy. Let's see? He's so cute. I'll probably have him like sit around her legs while she's on her stand because she can't have him on her. Well, she's on her stand. Um, here's her purse. Her purse can open and there is something inside, but I'll talk about that later. Here is her staff. Which let me hold it over here by the light. This is a skullet and it has this little um, bow that has the blue feather. This is like a dark navy blue. And um, it does have a little handle right here. So she can hold it. But um, it's not long enough for her to like reach it to her feet. So it can't really stand like a real walking stick would. It would need to be a little bit longer. But it's still a cute accessory. Did I show you the bag close up? It kind of looks like an old medical bag. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's talk about Jane. Let's talk about Jane. Her hair has this little poof right there. She has on this headband that's made out of feathers with a little spolette in the middle. With like vines and teeth, or rope and teeth, connecting it on the sides. She has a feather. Her earrings are on this side. And then she has like a little shell slash a tooth on this side. There's a little piece of bone on the feather too, if you can see that. Um, her hair is a very dark navy blue. On my camera it will probably look black, but it is a dark navy blue. See, you can kind of see the blue tints in it, right? Um, while the pink and slash red in her hair is more of like a violet red, so it does have purple tints to it. <laughs> And it's almost more like a pinky color than like a bright red. And um, here's her gorgeous face. She has beautiful eyes and dark, a little bit darker than her skin tone, purple um, eyebrows. And then she has like crystal blue eyes. And then she has like dark purple and a little bit of like a light pinky purple for makeup. And then she has like purple dots all over under her eyes. Can you see them? Little dots. I like the little dots. And then she has like a plum colored lip. And then she has a dark, well not a dark red, but like a bright red choker that goes into her necklace that has blue little stones on it. And then she has these blue ruffles that have like false fur on her shoulders. Um, the blue kind of just kind of clips on so I'm not going to pull on it too much but see it just kind of so those could probably easily be lost. On this arm she has a uh, like a handless glove so like a sleeve with a red and a white almost like a teal colored bracelet. And then on this side she has a little cuff bracelet that um, doesn't really have too many intricate designs. It just just a little blue cuff bracelet, nothing too fancy. Her top is like a blue and a purple, like the base color of the shirt is purple, and then it has blue overlay and. Um, It has like a florally leafy design on it. And then she has her undershirt, which is a bright, a bright hot pink. You can't really tell on my camera. It looks a lot paler, but it's a bright hot pink. And then her belt has a big skull in the middle and then two smaller skulls with blood painted feathers. And then around the edges are teeth, like little Tuskies and Let's 
sync and ranging sizes. And then she has like this tutu-y material skirt over ripped leggings, which are all different lengths. Now, I love Monster High shoes, so her shoes made me so happy that they're different. This one is a snake. You can see the head that wraps around. And the ending of the tail ends on this side right here. See the tail? And then it's a normal, like, almost like a wickery looking planty texture. And then, um, it's a smaller snake that intertwines, that goes over her foot, and intertwines with the tail over here. And it has a little red gem. No, that's a skull. Okay, that is a skull. That is a skullette. My bad. I love her skin tone. It's a very pretty purple. And then on this leg, she has almost like a gladiator sim uh, sandal. Even though this part of the foot is the same as this one, it has like the little wickery, planty design, and the same heel, and it has the little red skullet over here. Um, this is a snake. I can tell that it is a snake. But then it goes into this cuff. And then this cuff, and then this cuff, and it keeps going up, and then there's the feather detail on the side. And here's the front of the shoe. And it's just like layers of cuffs. Which I like. It's really neat that she has different shoes. Since she um, does live out in the jungle, and she might not you know, be able to find matching shoes. I do have to say that her hair is like uberly soft. Like it feels like it's possibly the softest Monster High doll hair I've ever felt. It's like really soft and like fluffy. It's very poofy. I like it. Her hands, if you can tell, kind of have like elongated fingers with like sharp fingernails and there's Jane hi guys and my camera hates me Ugh. so now let's get into um, what's inside her purse the secret of her staff and let's look at her book it says it's against the law of the jungle for you to read my diary So I'm going to try to hold this as still as possible so y'all can read. Please pause now if you would like to read this page. Please pause now. If you would like to read this page. Please pause now if you would like to read this page. Please pause now if you'd like to read this page. <laughs> I just don't want to, you know, turn it and y'all like forget to pause or something. Please pause now if you would like to read this page. And that is the end. Um, but the special thing about Jane is, um, 
of course she has her accessories and stuff as you can see on here but you can her purse has papers in it and you can put them inside of needles and she can hold her staff but her staff is also a pen that she can write all the papers with so you open her purse I think you get three papers I think that's what I counted earlier yeah three and they got these little like purpley tree and leaf designs on them y'all see that? and um you pull and this part of her staff comes off and then you get this like felt tip marker let's see um the papers feel very uh slick like they have a coating to them so i don't know how well the marker will stay but i will write i heart M H explanation mark Jane of the jungle. The cap is kind of angled, so you got to find the right spot on the staff to put it down on. But this is what I wrote on her paper. My heart monster high, Jane of the Jungle. Yeah, it doesn't dry very fast at all. Um... So if I was y'all, I would use these as like a little tracer paper, like for the size, and just cut strips of like construction paper or computer paper, and then write on them, because these are like little slip papers, the marker is not going to dry very fast at all. But you close it up after it dries and then you open needles up and you slide them inside or you can just fold it back up and put it back in the purse either way the purse is actually quite roomy it has more room than most monster high purses do So alrighty then guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are looking for um Jane Boo Little, go check your Kmart. She's really cheap right now. Um which makes me very happy because I love Jane. I wanted her from the moment I knew she was coming out. So I'm glad I finally have her. Alrighty then guys, I shall see y'all soon and uh have a frightful day. Bye, guys. Bye.